Hello and welcome in how to create a laptop in Blender and GIMP. And for this, this time we're going to bake the normal map. So select the object, Shift D. Well, let me start screencast keys. Shift D. So we've got a new one. I move to the second layer. That object, that new object, laptop 001. We come to scale to dot and dot Why we are doing this? Because if you we're going to change the mesh, and if you are doing that, your UV will not change. So the, you can just you have to press or something if you want to see where you need to add uh, some edges, for example, for a keyboard. So now we can do it. And without the, the text change, so just add everywhere uh, those edges, and I'm going to uh, oh, you're going to see this fast, and because you don't have to, everyone can do this. So I see you. Uh, if I did this. So we changed the uh, keyboard a little bit, but also the touchpad we have to change. So at here on, and we also have this lined out, so that's, that's good. Um, We are not going to, well, here maybe, so just like this one, and this one, extrude, skill, use medium point, skill down, and move it up, and why up, because we move it up by zero. Something like this. Well, maybe this is too much, but uh, too little. I mean, yes, this. So, something like this. And now move it back up again. Well, no. Um, do it to the ground again. Extrude it. Move that down. Change this again to medium point and scale it down. Something like this. And do the same for this part. So. Size down, move it up a little. Bit. And extrude it and move that if I can a little bit. Um, also at here. Align and move all this. Well, extrude this. Oh, well, first we need also select this a little bit and Well, it was a little bit too much. Yeah, something like this. And do we have to change even more? No, I don't think we need to change it. So just add those buttons. Um, looks like I did it wrong a little bit. So. Let's move this up. 
um, also this one and also this one and also this one and also this one and yeah this a little bit better so now select it extrude it move that by just too much um let's say something like this let's see how this yeah i think maybe a little bit more yeah so move tip extrude it move tip by let's first change back to texture This you can see it now on the screen and just scroll down a little bit. And you'll see something like this at the end. So well we will jump back if I yeah uh, edit everything because I think you can do this uh, at your own. So we have everything, so let's try to bake it. So go to UV editing, select first this, select everything, go to this one, select, select this one, and go to default here and by bake, you can choose. Normals, I think it is. Well, just first save it and so check this one and then so like this, then do bake to UV editing. You can see slowly it will be baked. So now we're going to just select laptop, only laptop, and we're going to export this as an FPX file. We're going to go to your assets and a mo model. Wait a minute. First, we're going to select this, go to laptop, and then export FPX. And go to um, to your S folder and export it. And well, also just save this um, and open Unity and wait a minute, export it again. But now select. Only selected objects, and now if you open it, it will is first import it, and also, well, it is uh, importing everything. Going to image, going to save as image, going to S folder, models, texture, laptop. And that's normal, find it and save as image. So now we are going to add that model in our C. C 
machine and we are going to add some things on it. Um, first, just call this laptop and change to static and add to your assets folder. And we are going to make this as bright as possible. And also, what else? Do? Well, no, create empty. Just and static. Change this to laptop. And first to be this, yes, and at this one. We also need normal map, so image. Well, we already got an image, didn't we? Yes, so left at normal. I'm going to add that. Here, fix now, and minus one, and see how it will look. Um, oh, I forgot to maybe that's the problem. Also, we have to do one more thing. Go to specular and move this up a little bit. And Also, we have to create an image shader. So that's very simple. It's just exactly this. Just going to create a new image. Going to make the background black. And we're going to copy this one. I hope to come. No. We're going to copy this. And I'm going to select exactly this part. Copy it, paste it, and now export it as. Um, what shall we call it? Um, I think it's smart to call it, well, laptop of course, and we've got something like this and and this is your object so I, uh, I hope you guys liked it if you did please leave a like and if you have any questions, just ask below in the comment section. And, well, if you want more tutorials, subscribe.